What's on your mind? I saw her, Joe. Who? Sarah. That little girl that David's been talking about. I saw her. A and she was real. Or at least she seemed real. When did this happen? Yesterday. She... She appeared in my room. She appeared? Yes. But don't say it was my imagination. It wasn't. She was real. A as real as you or I. Well, I'm not going to say she doesn't exist. Too many people claim to have seen her. Maggie, Sam, Vicky, David, and now you. <laughs> you can't all be imagining things. We're not. She does exist. I, I, I even talked to her. Oh, what'd she say? Well, she begged me to stop David from being sent away, but, but that part of it doesn't matter. The point is, she does exist. David did not imagine her. Well, maybe he didn't. Well, if she wasn't his imagination, then maybe all those other things he's been talking about are real, too. Well, you mean like, like seeing a coffin in Barnabas Collins' basement? Yes. It's possible that he really did see something oh, there. Oh, come on now, Carolyn. I'm just saying it's possible. Well, it's not possible. Now, Burke and Dr. Wood had already checked that story out. There was nothing in that basement, nothing at all. I know. And what about David's claim about being attacked by a giant bat? Or his idea that Barnabas Collins is out to kill him? You don't believe those things, do you? I know they sound far-fetched. <laughs> More than far-fetched, they're incredible. So is the existence of Sarah. All right, what are you trying to say? I, I want you to do something for me. Oh, what's that? I want you to go to Eagle Hill Cemetery with me. Eagle Hill Cemetery? What for? Well, David claims that there's a secret room in the Collins Mausoleum. I want to know if such a room exists or if David imagined it. But Burke and Dr. Woodard went out to the cemetery and examined that mausoleum and there was no secret room. I know they didn't find anything. Oh, what makes you think we would? Well, maybe we wouldn't, but I I'd like to double-check David's story. Carolyn, I'm not about to take you out to a cemetery in the middle of the night. But, but it's for David. Come on, now, you don't really believe these wild claims he's been making about Barnabas Collins, your own cousin? I want to believe that David is telling the truth. Well, so do I. And maybe he thinks he is. But it's got to be his imagination. He was not imagining Sarah. Well... Maybe not, but what's the connection with Barnabas Collins? I don't know. But there may be a connection. Look, Carolyn, for your own sake, forget this. Now, the danger's all over. Willie Loomis has been caught and put away. I think the best thing for you to do is just forget that any of this happened. Joe, please. You don't really believe that there's something sinister about Barnabas Collins, do you? No. All right, then you got to chalk up everything David says to the imagination of a kid. Because that's all it is. That's all it could be. She's so lovely, so innocent. I can't do it. I can't. I Vicky. can't. Vicky? Vicky? Hmm? What is it? Y you were asleep. Yes. I thought I heard something. I was probably mistaken. You must have been. It's very late and everyone's asleep. I, I know. I'm sorry I woke you. It's all right. 
Well, you, you go back to sleep. Is the idea so incredible? Would you willingly? Yes, yes, willingly. Even knowing what would happen to you? Yes. You take pride in being a strong-willed woman. You would no longer have a will of your own. I'm aware of that. And you would make that sacrifice? Yes. Well, why, Julia? It's the first time you've ever called me by that name. You haven't answered my question. Why would you do it? Do I have to give you a reason? Isn't the offer enough? Look at me. Why? Look at my face. Doesn't it repel you? No. Touch it. Go on, touch it. Feel the skin. Dry, withering, cold. Don't. Now, doesn't it repel you? No, because I know what you were and will be again. You amaze me, doctor. Don't call me that. Don't ever call me that again. You will always be Dr. Hartman to me. You must. What does that mean? It means that I... Appreciate your offer, but reluctantly I must refuse. Why? Why? Because if you submit, you will no longer be able to function as a doctor, and I may have need of your services. But you said you didn't want to continue with the experiments. There may perhaps be other needs for you. Is that the real reason you're refusing me? Yes. I told you that I appreciate your offer, and I do. All right, Barnabas. Where are you going? To the laboratory. I have some work to do. David, it's very late. You shouldn't be up. I just have to ask you something. What is it? <clears throat> Do you think I'm crazy? Oh, David, what a question. Of course I don't. And Elizabeth does. I heard her say so. David, maybe she's right. Maybe I do imagine some things. David, I don't believe that. You don't? No, you didn't imagine Sarah. That much I know. But the things about Barnabas, those were just my imagination. Were they? Yes, so you can forget. I said anything, ever. I'm not so sure I ought to forget. You've got to. Why? Because you just do. I wonder. What? If I went to the old house, I wonder what I'd find there. You can't go there. Oh, David, don't get upset. You can't. You've got to promise me you'll never go near there, ever. All right, calm down. You'll promise, won't you? Yes. And you'll keep that promise? Yes, David. Now. It's very late. I think you better get back to bed. Come and on now. You'll forget everything I said about Barnabas, won't you? I just told you I would. I made it all up. Everything of it. You believe that, don't you? Yes. And you'll forget. You will. Yes, David. Now go to bed. I'll oh. see you in the morning. Okay. Good night. Good night, David. Is he so frightened? What if he was telling the truth before? What if there is something in that house? It, it doesn't seem possible. And yet, there's only one way to find out.
Nicholas must be asleep. Get a hold of yourself. It was only a shutter banging in the window. I've got to be very quiet. I've got to get into that basement without making any noise at all. Why are you here? Oh, I was about to ask you the same question. This is no time for questions. Just go now. But this coffin, why is it here? I, what does it mean? I, I can't tell you that now. But it's here, just the way David described it. Why? Just don't ask any questions. Just go now before it's too late. It's already too late. What are you doing here, Carol? Uh, I came to see Cousin Barnabas. And now you see him. But, but you can't be Barnabas. But I am. But what's happened to your face? You're so old. It won't be old much longer. <laughs> You may scream all you want, but no one will hear you. Now, don't be afraid of me, my dear. I'm not going to hurt you. I wouldn't do anything to hurt my own flesh and blood. <laughs> <laughs> 